anyway, what I ordered through Amazon is best made sour pickles. So let's go ahead and give these best made sour pickles a try. I have never tried best made pickles. I really like the Van Holtens pickles, the single pack, or the where it's got one pickle in each pouch. I really like those sour ones. But all the reviews say these pest made are really good. And the only way we're able to get them is up here because they're, I think, made in Texas. And the only way we can get them up here in northern states is pretty much Amazon. And Amazon's more expensive than other companies online. But then, of course, when you have Amazon Prime, you're not paying shipping. So it makes the price the same. Let's go ahead and open those up. And there is a seal on top of there. It's actually a really good seal. All right. It's got a sour smell to it. It's not as soury smelling as the Van Holtens. And let's go ahead and take a look at these pickles. This is the 18 to 22 count. So, they are quite large pickles. <laughs> we'll go ahead and cut this open and give it a little taste. Alright, it's the first time I've tried these best made. The reviews are really good saying they taste like old fashioned pickles and all that. So, let's see. Definitely sour, and the pickles themselves, Ooh. definitely sour. I do like them, I gotta say that. I think I like the Van Holtons a little more. Let's go ahead and read the ingredients. Refrigerate after opening. Ingredients: cucumbers, water, vinegar, salt, al alum, alum, calcium chloride, natural flavoring, sodium benzoate, and potassium sorbate. No different than any other pickles. Pretty much the same ingredients. But of course, most of these sour pickles, before they're put in the vinegar brine, they're soaked in a salt water for weeks give them that sour effect. They would be great sliced up and put into tuna salad or potato salad. Mmm, delicious. If you're into sour pickles, that is. But they're not overly sour. If you find the Van Holsten's too sour, these are pretty sour. They just don't have that is, I'd say if a Van Holsen was on a scale of 1 to 10 on pucker power and you gave it a 10, these would probably be about an 8 or a 9, just a little bit less on pucker power. It's actually a pretty good buy. I got this for $17 and something on Amazon on sale. You got to watch those prices because they fluctuate quite a bit when you got Amazon Prime down to, you know, if you keep watching something and that price fluctuates quite a bit. I definitely like these pickles. Like I said, I'll definitely eat them. You know what? We're going to taste that pickle juice. Let's do that. I almost forgot the pickle juice taste. Let's go ahead. You, know, you can buy straight pickle juice because it's a great after workout. You know, if you're getting leg cramps or stuff and everybody says bananas and stuff, well, guess what? Pickle juice does the same thing. Oh my goodness, that's sour. Mm. The pickle juice isn't bad either. 
Definitely a good purchase if you like sour pickles. I will, after I eat this jar, I will order more because I am liking them. All right, y'all. That's my review on the best made sour pickles. I give it a thumbs up. I give it a thumbs up. You know what that would be good for? Think about this for a sec. Cutting them up in those little pieces I had, dip them in batter, and deep fry them. Delicious. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.